So the question says, if England and Spain each spends all its time producing the good in which it has a comparative advantage, and the countries agree to trade two units of bread for six units of cheese, then England will consume... So to begin this question, we need to create a production possibilities frontier. And analyzing the data table given, we can cancel this stuff out. This is not important. Instead, we're going to direct our attention with the quantities given here. We're going to use these quantities to create a production's possibilities frontier curve for each country. So for England, the maximum amount of cheese it can produce will be 40. And for bread, it will be 10. We do the same process for Spain. The max it can produce for cheese is 10. And the max it can produce for bread is 5. The next step is to determine who has a comparative advantage for what commodity. This is going to determine who will trade what commodity to who. So to do this, we set up a ratio between the values of our graph here. So we have 40 units of cheese to 10 units of bread. We'll do the same thing over here. 10 units of cheese to 5 units of bread. Now we want to see who has the comparative advantage for bread first. So we're going to compare the values over here. To do this, we divide by 40 on both sides. And this gives us 1. And this will give us 0.25. We do the same process over here. We divide by 10. This gives us 1, this gives us 0.5. So we can see that 0.5 is greater than 0.2, and this value belongs to Spain. So Spain has the comparative advantage for producing bread. Now we'll go ahead and do the same process for, who, for cheese. So once again, we set up our ratios. 40 to 10. This time, we're going to divide 10 on both sides. So this gives us 4, 1. And this time, we divide 5 on both sides. So this gives us 2. This gives us 1. Do not pay attention to the 1s. We're only interested in these numbers here. We see that 4 is greater than 2. This value belongs to England. So England has the comparative advantage for cheese. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can determine how much each country will consume once it begins trading. So let's figure out how much England will consume. England will consume the difference of what it traded and what it got from the trade. So it's going to specialize in making cheese. So it's going to give to Spain a certain amount of cheese. And here it was told it would be six. So England will end up consuming what they have left, which is 34 units of cheese. In addition to the two units of bread that it received. Spain, on the other hand, will consume. So let's see. Spain specializes in making bread, so it gives up two units of bread, so it ends up consuming three units of bread in the end, because that's what it has left over for its own country. In addition, it will consume six units of cheese. So the answer here is A.